right now the problems that the world is facing are all of an interdisciplinary nature. On the one hand, we do need a sufficient grasp of science to understand what's possible and what's likely to happen, but that scientific knowledge on its own is not going to tell us what we ought to do with regard to those technologies. Those ought questions, I think, are where the humanities aspect comes into play. There's all of these open questions which arise when you've built this technology to be dealt with by people outside this narrow technological field, and the humanities is centrally involved in that process. In the past, the excellent student who wants to pursue both science and the arts would tend to corkscrew back and forth, pursuing an independent path of two full majors over a five or five and a half year period. What we were able to do is take two degrees that could have taken up to 40 papers and reduce it to a degree that requires 27. I really enjoy the balance between doing science and writing out lab reports and then playing music. Having that balance is really important, I think. The future for people with strengths across hard science and the humanities, I think, is bright and there are a lot of options out there. The road to employment security does not require you to make an accurate prediction of what sorts of jobs will be available when you graduate. Um, so you're really better prepared if you follow your passions and you develop yourself intellectually. You're much more attractive to an employer. Getting a degree that is across both arts and science in four years means you can get a solid base that employers will respect, that gives you the skills that you need to understand the world and to change it in a short time frame. I think that's fantastic.